echoes of the Arab Spring. After nearly a month of protests, the 82-year-old Bouteflika bowed to public pressure, announced he will not run for a fifth term as president. The news brought tens of thousands out on the streets to celebrate. But some struck a note of caution, warning that real change must follow. It's a good thing, but only if they change the government completely. If they bring someone just like him, it's not worth it. They have to change the whole government. Protesters were also wary of the announcement that the election due to be held next month has been postponed indefinitely. What does it mean when they announce that Bouteflika is not running for a fifth term, but that he is adding another year? This is what he wanted from the beginning, to postpone the elections and have another year. We don't want that. We want Bouteflika and his clan to give up power. Bouteflika suffered a severe stroke in 2013 and has rarely appeared in public since. But on Monday, Algerian TV aired footage of the ailing president in a meeting that included Nouradine Bedoui. The current interior minister, who is not considered part of Bouteflika's inner circle, has been named the new prime minister. That's being seen as a sign that the old guard might really be releasing its hold on power. And joining us now from Algiers is Sofia Nasor, journalist following events there. Good morning, uh, Sofia. And are the celebrations we've been seeing in Algiers premature? And will Bouteflika really leave office? Celebrations that we've seen yesterday night are definitely premature, and uh, what we've seen yesterday night, were, like some thousands of people were going out, but the majority of those who were heading to the streets in recent weeks stayed home yesterday, as they know very well that the move and the announcements uh, made by Bouteflika's clan yesterday are simply a political maneuver. This is not a real political change. Uh, it's worth noting that uh, the suggestion of organizing a national conference on consensus was, was already put forward by allies of Bouteflika in December. So this is not uh, a new, sol uh, like a, a new uh, suggestion, a new solution to solve the ongoing crisis. Um, they were trying to build uh, a new uh, consensus within the regime like, for months. So this suggestion of a national conference of consensus is uh, not more than a political maneuver to stay in power and to keep things running. Now, Sofian, what's, what's behind the decision to postpone April's presidential election? It's important to, to have a look at the, at the way how the Algerian regime is working. We're not talking about a dictatorship. We're not talking about an autocratic regime. We're talking about a semi-autocratic regime composed of several wings. And uh, what we're witnessing uh, for quite a while is uh, a power struggle uh, between several of these wings. So when Bouteflika was re-elected in 2014, these wings couldn't agree on another candidate. So Bouteflika was kind of an emergency solution because they couldn't find another candidate. So uh, they are buying time. They're buying time to find another candidate that uh, would be able to please as many wings as possible of the Algerian regime. Okay, so a lot of uh, movement there in the background in Algiers. Sophia Nasser for us. Thanks very much.